Welcome to our information session regarding our biology and biomedical science courses at Ulster University. I am Dr. Rachel Irwin, the course director for biology, and today with me is the course director for biomedical sciences, Dr. Valerie Hinch. Today we are going to cover um, some information about us and our courses, why you should study at Ulster, what you will learn and how you will be taught, how we will support you, hear what our graduates and our students think and some future careers. So the biology and biomedical science courses are part of a suite of courses in the School of Biomedical Sciences. The School of Biomedical Sciences um, boasts of state of the art teaching facilities, including new large lecture theatres, breakout areas for self-study and group work and study hubs all situated in the beautiful north coast of Northern Ireland on the Coleraine campus. On our campus, we also have um, some state-of-the-art research facilities, including the Centre for Molecular Biosciences and the SAD Centre for Pharmacy and Diabetes. The lecturers are research-driven, ensuring that your top material on your course, which is up-to-date and relevant. And recently, we scored in the top five in the UK for research power, 100% for research environment in the Research Excellence Framework in 2021. Some of our course-related successes you can see here. We are number one in Northern Ireland, according to the Guardian University Guide for Biology, number one in Northern Ireland um, for biomedical science, and in the top 10 um, in the Guardian University Guide 2023 for biomedical science. So I will tell you now more about our BSc Honours in Biology. And here you can see some of our recent students at the Giants Causeway on a field trip in year one. So biology is part of the biosciences, which is a highly topical and dynamic area. It's continuing to advancing and contributing really important benefits, not only to wider health and well-being of individuals, but the nation um, and also to the economic activity of the UK itself. Why study biology at Ulster? Um, and what sets us apart from other universities is our research informed teaching. So our teaching is delivered by research active academic staff. You will also be able to um, be awarded um, potentially with industry uh, supported prizes, placements and internships um, by Randox, Almac and others. Um, and we have a range of different professional body awards and employer awards which are nationally or internationally recognised. And we have some excellent opportunities um, for employment also. We embed this into our curriculum and 100% of our past students are in employment or future study within 15 months of graduation. So what you will learn are skills that you need to start your career from the fundamentals of biology, which includes human, animal and plant physiology, biodiversity, molecular cell biology, biochemistry and more. Some current advances, which is recent to our course, um, relating to bioscience issues, current policy and um, public policy controversy, um, some knowledge on big data and advances in biological research and technology. And also you will be able to take um, an investigative research project dissertation um, with a project supervisor um, at Ulster University. So our degrees, our degrees are designed to give you the skills and experiences you need to start your career. Our full time degrees are three years um, and you have a four year option to include a placement year or a study abroad option. In first year, you will look at the fundamentals underpinning biology. And then in second year, you start to hone skills you will need um, as you progress through your, your course and your career and um, looking at the processes and skills um, that you will require. You have an option to take a placement year. Uh, and then in final year, you will start to apply the knowledge that you have learnt um, in previous years, shape your career path and undertake your dissertation project. Here's an example of the biology course structure and the different modules you will take in year one, year two, your placement year in year three, and then in year four as well. So we really want you to get some real work world experience and there are lots of benefits from getting a placement um, experience when you're um, doing your course. Um, some examples of placement um, years um, which our students have taken include um, a broad range um, of different things. So um, teaching in primary schools or abroad, um, industrial laboratory placements in research and discovery, 
research um, facility placements at Ulster University or scientific marketing placements and more. We like you to take a, a placement year if possible. Um, it helps you to achieve um, a final year degree classification and to achieve um, professional employment, to build upon your graduate attributes and professional network and to obtain an extra diploma upon your graduation. Some of our um, current placement um, opportunities um, are shown here in our different employers. And you can see that we pride ourselves in biology of having a really broad diversity um, of placement providers. So if you're not sure what you want to do, um, biology is a great course for you to do. Um, you can have a placement in public health and research, industry teaching, conservation, waste management, management charities, or even in pharmacy and more. So you'll be taught um, in large lectures, in smaller tutorials, computer labs, practical sessions, and you'll be able to undertake field trips and more. You can see here that we do a significant amount of outreach in the course. Um, you'll be taught um, pretty much um, eight hours of each working day, and 40% of your study time will be in teaching sessions, but we also pride ourselves by giving personal study support. You'll be assigned a year tutor, um, you'll have peer assisted study skills classes, a class rep, um, all of your notes will be online on Blackboard and you will have a suite of library resources. Um, you'll undertake group work and also individual work. Your assessments will be by examinations, some of which can be online or in person and coursework. Um, so we take a bit of a blended learning approach and you can see some revisions again here on one of our field trips. Um, we will support you in a range of different ways, as we said. Um, the staff have an open door policy and we try to embed uh, employability into our um, course as well. So we have career set sessions that are built into your degree, which help you to decide what you want to do at the end. Um, and we have a wide range of student support services also available to you. Some of our students um, have given us testimonies. Here we have Jack Kelly in final year who wants to do a PGCE once he graduates. He really enjoys teaching um, and he chose biology because he always enjoyed it at school. Um, his desire to teach um, was nurtured on the course um, doing edge accredited activities which are in curricular activities um, you can undertake. Um, he took um, first year class um, for um, peer assisted study skills, which helped him to add this to his CV as, as experience and apply for his PGCE. Um, a different student here, Aileen, also in final year, um, had a particular focus in biology because um, she really enjoyed it at A level. Um, and she is starting to enjoy marine biology and she wants to undertake a PhD at Ulster, studying a specific topic um, that she learned during her degree. Um, so it's great pathways to future postgraduate um, applications as well. So this could be you. Um, these are some of our students um, at different biology events. We have BioSoc um, here, which is a society for students in the School of Biomedical Sciences. Um, we undertake a significant amount of research. Um, you can see we um, have links with the Royal Society of Biology. Um, um, people who will come in to do different talks for you um, to keep you motivated and up to date with um, current affairs. Um, we also have our formal and our freshers quiz um, and we participate in the Northern Ireland Science Festival as well. So biology graduates are still in very high demand for their technical and professional skills and we like to equip you with the attributes you need um, informed by our key stakeholders and employers. Um, employers want accredited, recognised qualifications and practical experience, people who can problem solve and apply their scientific knowledge, creativity and computing skills um, to their work, and um, people who can work as a team and can project manage and can communicate their ideas well also. Some examples of different careers our graduates have gone on to do, to do um, from biology are shown here. Um, applied research, public health and healthcare, biology, um, biotechnology, forensic science, um, politics and policy, um, bioinformatics, business industry, scientific writing and communication, media marketing and art, environmental management, conservation and education at a range of different levels, including museums. 
One of our recent graduates, Chloe McKee, has done very well. She's a senior scientist at Randox now and gets to travel, travel a significant amount for her, her job. Um, and she entered the programme because of the wide variety of modules um, that she had. So she, she could get a taste of lots of different um, biological aspects on her degree. And her different skills that she learned um, in the laboratory practicals really helped her um, going into scientific industry. She felt right at home at the Coleraine campus and she highly recommends um, the degree. Um, Dr Peter Fitzgerald, who's the managing director of the Randox lab, has some very nice things to say about many of the, the graduates which um, go to Randox or the placement students which go to Randox um, for the year, that they have an auspicious future and um, he said that they're making real differences to quality of life of people. So I'll pass you over now to Dr. Valerie Hinch, who's the course director for Biomedical Sciences. Hello, everyone. So as Dr. Irwin has specified, I'm Dr. Valerie Hinch, the course director for Biomedical Science uh, at Ulster University. So you're very welcome here. So why study Biomedical Science at Ulster, Ulster University? Well, some of you might be aware, first of all, of what biomedical science is, and some of you may not. So I'll just give you a brief overview, first of all. Uh, biomedical science really focuses on human disease, and the term biomedical scientist is actually a profession. And it's biomedical scientists that are the National Health Service frontline workers, basically, you know, testing human samples in our pharmaceutical companies, whether they're researching perhaps or developing vaccines, for example, uh, or indeed in our hospitals where they are able to diagnose patients with suspected diseases. And, you know, whether those uh, patients maybe have attended their GP with something as simple, shall we say, as a urine infection, or indeed due to a more advanced illness such as cancer. So biomedical scientists, they are playing that, uh, an immense role in our health care service today. And really, without them, there would be so many more ill people in the world today. And it's a known fact now that as biomedical scientists, they really diagnose greater than 80% of all known diseases. So you yourself can be one of these biomedical scientists and we at Ulster University can most certainly prepare you for that. So as I say, why Ulster University? Well, um, our biomedical science programmes are approved, first of all. They're approved by accredited bodies such as the IBMS, the Institute of Biomedical Science, and the HCPC, the Health and Care Professions Council. And not every university has an accredited degree programme in biomedical science. So this is really quite unique to us. We're also very unique in that we are the only university in Northern Ireland which provides a placement year in biomedical science. And again, this is something that we feel is very important because a placement year can really help you with employability. So alongside our fantastic careers team, this really is our focus and we work closely with them and our stakeholders, with our employer, employ, local employers, to ensure that we are able to provide our students with the best possible support to develop their lifelong skills um, so that they're really ready for work. And Previous employment rates have shown within biomedical science that um, there has been 100% employability over the past couple of years. And this is a very healthy 35% uh, above the UK average. Not only that, but um, we've had previous student satisfaction rates of 100% as in 2021. And additionally, we've won several awards, one being the, the Continuous Assurance for Quality Enhancement, uh, an award for academic excellence. So we really are um, proud of uh, these achievements. So what programmes do we actually provide in biomedical sciences? Well, we have three programmes. So we have biomedical science with diploma in pathology. And um, we have biomedical science with diploma in industrial and academic studies. Now, these two courses involve placement in your third year. The pathology programme, it really focuses on working within a hospital laboratory. And so while on the other hand, if you would perhaps like to broaden your options, the industrial programme 
tends to focus on placement in industry, such as that of the pharmaceutical companies or indeed teaching or, or, or things like that, research even within our own um, university. Some students actually um, head across the water to countries like Spain and Germany, etc. So that's quite exciting for them too. The three year program, whilst it does not include placement, you may still wish to continue with these similar career options, just perhaps a different pathway. And indeed, all our courses cannot can also act um, as a basis if you perhaps would like to continue with postgraduate study, such as the medical degree program at our BE campus, or um, such as that of the Physician Associates postgraduate degree program, which is quite popular amongst our students too. But regardless of which program you choose, all three courses provide the same subjects and they provide the same skills and the expert teaching that employers actually need today. So within the biomedical science programmes, what type of subjects would you study? How would you learn? Because biomedical science is focused on human disease, you would then focus on subjects such as anatomy, physiology, microbiology, genetics, hematology and blood transfusion, and cell pathology, and so on. Our teaching and learning practice, it will vary in terms of large lecture theatres. You might meet in small group tutorials, seminars, and then indeed for every lecture that a student has, you will have an associated practical. And this means that you can actually reflect on what you have just learned and put it into practice. Now, my, I myself have been a, sp a specialist biomedical scientist for over 20 years now and had been working in the Northern Health and Social Care Trust. So like myself, a lot of additional or um, our stakeholders, the biomedical scientists come in, uh, as Dr. Irwin has specified, and help uh, with our teaching and learning, which a lot of our students um, really do engage with. Uh, to give you, I suppose, an example of what you might study in one of my own modules, I teach uh, cellular pathology, and this actually involves the investigation of human organs and disease. So an example would be, uh, in one of the practical classes, you might focus on a patient's journey, perhaps with the likes of kidney cancer. So the, the kidney would be surgically removed and uh, for ethical reasons, it has to be pointed out, we would use um, animal kidney, it would not be human kidney. And then you would get the opportunity to participate in dissection and diagnose basically just exactly what a histopathology biomedical scientist would do in the real world today. So um, you would focus obviously on, on additional organs and um, a lot of the students do enjoy their practical uh, abilities. So really the skills that you will learn, you will gain right through from year one, learning about the fundamentals of biomedical science, right through to um, year final, when you are ready for employability. So let's perhaps meet some of our students. We have Lucia here. So Lucia was um, a final year, she was a second year student who had progressed into third year into the pathology lab in the Royal Victoria Hospital in Northern Ireland. Lucia originally had been working as a healthcare assistant just as a part-time job, but her love for biomedical science grew, hence why she joined the biomedical science programmes. She then was able to complete her registration portfolio, which is a requirement to become state registered with the IBMS. And she completed that in her third year and is now in her final year uh, amidst, shall I say, of her exams, ready to graduate. And I'm really pleased to say that Lucia has been um, successful in gaining employment already within the Royal Victoria Hospital Laboratory, where she'll proceed into her um, workplace once she does graduate. And if we meet Rebecca. So Rebecca, she had joined the industrial program and her love for science uh, began um, when she was doing her A-levels. So she joined and was able to participate in placement in Randox Pharmaceutical Company, where she again enjoyed and, and loved being able to gain those lifelong skills. 
Proceeding into final year, then she got um, um, even more love for biomedical science. And now Rebecca uh, is about to complete what she went out to proceed her master's project. It was a research project in collaboration with a uh, university in Indiana in the USA. Um, so that was a huge achievement and Rebecca will now graduate from that in September. And then finally, we have Rachel. So again, Rachel was one of the pathology students and she did her placement in Craig Avon Area Hospital Laboratory. Um, her, uh, Rachel decided that she would have liked to proceed into medicine. So that is where Rachel is at the minute. And she is now studying um, at McGee uh, as part of the medical degree programme. So <clears throat> as I specified earlier, we do work closely with our careers department and our stakeholders. And here you can see uh, Dr. Graydon from Ulster Hospital, who specifies uh, Ulster University students entering placement do so with a sound knowledge and practical experience. And without them, there would be a struggle in providing the required patient care. So we have lots of biomedical scientists um, working not only in Northern Ireland, but throughout the world, in our hospital laboratories, in forensic laboratories, in pharmaceuticals and in universities. And many of them do continue on to become senior team leaders or managers, consultants, doctors, etc. So our graduates are indeed in high demand. And you can see here some of our graduates with uh, the Northern Ireland IBMS chair upon graduation and you indeed could be one of these graduates now aside um of, of course your studying is important but we do feel it is really important for our students to gain all, all those skills that employers want the communication etc um and in doing so they're involved in lots and lots of events open days and by doing that you were able to award the students but you know, each student is an award winner in our eyes. And what is so lovely is just to see the students uh, flourish into happy, dedicated young professionals and be successful in their careers. And as we always specify, we believe a successful student is a happy student. And so to help facilitate this, as Dr. Irwin specified, we do provide great pastoral care in times of need for the students. But we also aside the teaching, we do um, provide lots of other facilities such as um, not only on campus, but our clubs and societies. We've got state of the art sports complex. We've got a Riverside theater where many of our local musical theater groups would host uh, such things as musicals. And of course, no nicer place to live than amongst the many beaches, the forests, all so beautiful in exploring the scenic views and culture of the northern coast of Northern Ireland. So we would really love to see you with us to explore further. Um, that in, so that in mind, you know, I would just like to point out if you would like to get um, a flavour of biomedical science and biology at Ulster University, please do look at our social media pages uh, where you'll see a lot of the events which we do participate in. Like so, perhaps you'd maybe like to get a taster of the subjects that we provide within our modules. So um, again, please do go on to our websites and there's small courses there that you can not only uh, participate in, but you can use these as, as awards to put into your CV, et cetera, which is very beneficial indeed. And just to note finally then, um, to continue, continually review our modules, our programmes, because on a yearly basis, they may be updated. And so just to review your, uh, the biology programmes and the biomedical science programmes, we would most certainly love to see you at Ulster University. For your entry requirements, you can go to admissions at ulster.ac.uk and you will get help there with the admissions. And finally, if there's any more information that you do need, please do not hesitate to contact us at ulster.ac.uk or study at ulster.ac.uk. 
and I would just like to wish you all the very best um, as you proceed upon your applications with UCAS. Thank you very much.